Good evening. Thank you for joining me. For this ASMR, you are going to get to choose your own ASMR. In front of you are three objects. And what you are going to do is you are going to choose your own object. Choose whichever object stands out to you, whichever one interests you, whichever one calls your name. And before you officially choose the object, I want you to take a deep breath in and breathe out. And now make your final choice. And once you have selected your object, you're going to go to the timestamps below. There is a timestamp for each object. That object and timestamp will be your ASMR video for the night. I hope that you enjoy this. And so if you have selected the green jar, then this is the timestamp for that object, and this is your video. We are going to begin by listening to the sounds of the water in the jar. You can close your eyes if you'd like. I want you to take another deep breath in, and breathe out. Now listen to the sounds of the jar. Light a match and put it in the jar. And this jar is going to represent a feeling for you. But let's first start with the match. We are going to do two more. the sound that the match makes when it goes into the water. And so, we are going to think of three different feelings for tonight. First, think of something this week that has made you anxious, frustrated, or upset. Think about what caused that. Think about what it was like to feel that feeling. And when you have it, when you're ready to name the feeling, 
When you're already the name, the memory, I want you to whisper it into the jar. Whisper it into the jar. The anxiety, the frustration, whatever it may be. Something unpleasant. Whisper it into the jar. And now we're going to close it and shake that up. And I want you to envision that that feeling is in this jar. See it move around. You have a name for it now. You have a visual. And now this time, I want you to think of something simple that you appreciated. It could have been a nice cup of coffee in the morning, a brief pleasant interaction with someone you know or even a stranger. It could be a nice walk you took, something beautiful you saw, the weather. Think of something small that you appreciated this week. And when you have that, I want you to whisper it into the jar. Whisper the simple, pleasant memory into the jar. Good. We're going to shake that up again, and I want you to look at what you have just named. You now have a visual for that memory and that feeling. And finally, I want you to think of something that you're either looking forward to or hoping to build upon and improve. So maybe there's something happening later this week, later this month, something you're excited about, or maybe there's something you've been meaning to do, something you've wanted to work on, something you've wanted to start. I want you to think of that, and when you're ready, and you have that, I want you to whisper it into the jar. Whisper your intentions into the jar. Whisper. Very good. And now we have all three feelings or memories in here. We have something that was maybe a little bit unpleasant, something that was pleasant, and something you're looking forward to or maybe hoping to begin. This is not meant to bottle up your feelings. This is more meant to give you an opportunity to name some feelings and some things that are going on in your life. Now you have a visual, you have a place where you can see them and you can really acknowledge them. And so we're gonna shake up the jar one last time. And so this was your ASMR exercise for tonight. 
I want you to take another deep breath in and breathe out. If you would like, you can look at the other timestamps and see the other ASMR exercises, but this was the one that you chose for tonight. This was the object that called to you, so hopefully there is something that you can take away from this specific exercise. Thank you for joining me, and let me know what you thought of this exercise. Todaraba, Lila Tov. If you selected the wooden match, then this is your timestamp. This is your exercise. I want you to begin by taking another deep breath in. And breathe out. Very good. I'm going to burn this match and maybe a few others. And you are going to just watch the flame and listen to the sound of my voice. These matches burn longer than regular matches, especially when you keep moving them slowly. It helps keep their momentum. These matches make me think about momentum and the fire we have within ourselves, our energy, the way that we can light up and be full of energy, and also burn out very quickly. When I slowly rotate this match, it often seems to stay lit longer, although not always. But that makes me think of pacing ourselves and taking time to recharge so that we can always have that flame burning. Maybe you've had a long week. Maybe you've felt like you've really exerted yourself. You've really just put in a lot of effort. Maybe you're feeling burnt out. I want you to take this time to take a breath and relax. We can't always be going 24-7. We do have to take breaks. And if we take breaks, then that actually allows us to sustain ourselves and go longer. If you've been stressed, if you've been pushing yourself extra hard, don't forget to take the moments for yourself, the small moments, taking a breath every now and then consciously can make a small difference, going for a walk, looking away from your computer or phone screen and looking out the window, getting sleep, Maybe exercising or talking to a friend, playing a little game, or even doing really nothing at all. These are all things you can consider 
And if you selected the match as your object, maybe you were drawn to it because you were feeling burnt out. Or maybe you were feeling like you needed a, a fire lit under you, something to motivate you. So let this also motivate you if you've been feeling like you need some sort of way to be invigorated and motivated. Let this moment with this flame inspire you. Everything about resting and making sure that you're maintaining your energy levels is still applicable and important. But if you were looking for a sign to get started on something and to push yourself, this can also be your sign for that. As long as you're doing it with a healthy balance. Or maybe you just chose this object because it just stood out to you for whatever reason. That's perfectly fine too. If that's the case, then you don't need to worry about everything I just said. You can just watch this last flame burn and enjoy it in whoever way you want to enjoy it. Not everything has to have a meaning. You can really assign whatever meaning you want to things. And so if you just want to zone out and wash this flame to help you relax, then do so. This is your ASMR video that you selected, and you can use it however you'd like. Watch the flame. How far will this one go? Will it go out quickly? Will it burn a long time? Will it break off in two like the last one? And this one has gone out. So those were the flames. One more. I know I had said that was the last one, but I think we need just one more for this exercise. My hand can feel the heat. It feels nice at this distance.
you have it. If you would like to watch the other ASMR videos, then you can go to the timestamps and watch them. But this was the one that called to you when you selected one, so I hope that you got something out of it. Whether it was just zoning out and relaxing, or finding a deeper meaning. Let me know what you thought of this exercise. And Todaraba, Lilato. And if you selected this tool, then this is your timestamp and this is your ASMR. Now I want you to begin by taking a deep breath in. And breathe out. And now what I would like for you to do is to close your eyes. You're going to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Don't open your eyes until you're instructed. Did. Just close your eyes. And now I would like you to open your eyes. Open your eyes. As you can see now, everything is a bit foggy. And so in this exercise, this ASMR video, that you selected because it called to you. I'm going to try to help remove that fog. Maybe you selected this object for your video because you were feeling like you were in a fog and like you needed some clearing, some clarity, some peace. Or maybe you just selected this because you thought it looked nice. And that's okay too. Whatever reason you chose, you can just watch this video because it's relaxing. It doesn't have to have a meaning. But if you would like for it to have a meaning, then you can also view this as clearing the fog. Whatever you like. And so I have these scissors and I'm going to cut away the layers of fog. I'll begin with this first layer. Pretty fog. It's sparkly, that's kind of nice. Get another layer. Oh, 
another layer down. How does it feel to have the layers of fog removed? Gently cut away. was a nice fog though, wasn't it? And now that the fog has been removed, I want you to take another deep breath in and breathe out. And now I want you to imagine a thin layer of fog coming back. Just imagine the fog. Coming back in. Just a nice thin layer is nice because you can still see. But there's a little bit of a layer of sparkle. It adds a nice filter. Let's take a moment to just appreciate the filter. It's okay to have a little fog every now and then, but we don't want it to build up. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And now I want you to take another deep breath in when I tell you to and when you breathe out. I want you to blow the fog away. Are you ready? Okay. Breathe in. And breathe out. Very good. And so that will conclude this ASMR video. If you would like to look at the other videos, then feel free to do so. You can watch all three if you would like, but remember that this was the object that you chose, and so I hope that this was meaningful for you and that this exercise did something to satisfy you. Please let me know what you think of this exercise, as I may want to do a longer video with this. Thank you for joining. Toda Raba. Laila Tov. Good evening. Thank you for joining. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel where I put out ASMR videos weekly or almost every week. They often have a Jewish influence, but not always. 
Let me know what you thought below of this video, and as always, Todaraba, Laila Tov, thank you very much, and good night.